Coal power plants are shutting down all over America. As a result, some states in the US now are completely coal free. Now, it's worth also mentioning that the second biggest coal company in the world went bankrupt recently, and that was in America. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. It's great to see you. You know what? Isn't, isn't this an amazing time? We're seeing the deployment of solar and wind just absolutely skyrocket in America. However, New England is now the second region in the United States that is completely coal free. You might not really care about this. You might think, oh, you know, I don't really care about coal. It's not a big deal. That's fine. But you do realize that coal has killed millions of people in the United States, literally millions. I made a video about that. People didn't realize this, but the coal dust prematurely triggers things like cancer many decades earlier. And we know this because there is data from this. Like, for example, right, we saw when Chernobyl blew, people within that close range, they died very quickly. Well, we can do the same tracking. We have the same data for people who live near where the dust from coal power plants was settling. And those people, life expectancy was slashed. Both of New Hampshire's coal plants are shutting, as in closing down, never to reopen. That makes New England the second coal-free state in the United States. Now, this follows a settlement, according to Electric, between Club Sierra Club, the Conservation Law Foundation, EPA, and Granite Shore Power, the Bow, New Hampshire-based power station, which is committed to retiring the coal burning units in two different locations. Interesting, one of the stations, one of the coal power stations will actually be turned into a solar and battery farm. Basically, you know, these kind of areas, no one wants to live there, there's too much coal dust. So they're gonna install solar panels all over that area and a massive battery storage system to actually back up the solar power at nighttime. This will be integral in obviously supporting reliability of the network when, yeah, there isn't any solar coming in, uh, any power being generated by the solar panels. So actually, um, I stand corrected here. This actually makes New Hampshire the 16th state in America, which is completely coal free. But it's the nation's second entirely coal free region following the Pacific Northwest. So New England and the Pacific Northwest now no coal left. Today's announcement is the culmination of years of persistence and dedication from people across New England who knew coal was a dirty, expensive, and unreliable source of energy that would cut people's lives short. And that a better way was possible for our economy, our health, and for our planet. So with the retirement of these eight different coal power plants in this entire region, 2.9 gigawatt of coal will be taken offline. This will reduce uh, emissions by 15.6 million tons. So what is replacing the coal? Well, a combination of things. You've got solar power, wind power, and gas. Now, gas isn't exactly ideal, of course, but it's definitely better than coal. What will replace the, the gas eventually will be very, very affordable, cheap solar and battery storage. As a result of this, turning off these well, these coal power stations becoming no longer economically viable and shutting down, US renewables are now sending out more power than coal in the US for the first time. So renewable energy has hit that tipping point where it's overtaken coal in the United States. So if someone says to you, oh, your EV is just being charged by coal, well, you can fire that back at them. Or you could tell them, hey, I have a solar panel on my roof. So no, that's not true. Thanks for watching.